What's up guys, it's The Real Deal, back with another Ray Shown video, and it's the weekend, we've got two times Ancients going on, we've got 215 shards to pull, and there's also a chance to get Ragash, he is an awesome defensive base nuker that you can use for Arena, I'm sure there's other uses that you can use him for, but I've only really ever seen him used for Arena, he's got a nice kit, he's got an A3, which makes him really defensive and tanky, so he places um, strength and buff on himself, increased speed, and a perfect veil. So that really helps reduce damage that he's going to receive. But then he can also absolutely just slam with his A2. It's a shame it's only a single hitter though, but it is an AoE hit. Um, it can also place decreased defense buffs, so you're going to put a bit of accuracy on him. And also a chance to put um, stun out there as well. And then he's got an A1 that hits twice and will also put um, increased defense on himself. So that will increase his damage and will make him even more tanky. But yeah, he's a really nice champion. Not super amazing, but very strong. Uh, but yeah, if you do pull him, you know, you should be pleased. Um, but let's check out my account. So my account, I say it's free to play. I have been playing for three years, um, but I did buy some voice shards um, two Christmases ago. It's a little treat to myself. But outside of that, 100% free to play. Um, so yeah, you can see I've got a pretty healthy account. And what I need more than anything are support champions. When it comes to nukers, I am stacked, but I really need some support champions. And the ones I really need are all in demon spawn. Can you guess who they are? Prince Kaimar and Duchess, those two would be massive game changers for my account. Um, Prince Kaimar puts people to sleep, he strips, and he resets abilities. That is just huge for Live Arena. Um, and Duchess as well, I'm sure you guys know. Uh, one of the best revivers, but also bounce put that perfect veil and just protect your team. It's just massive. Um, but Candra Bomb wouldn't be bad as well. Like, I know he's a nuka, but he's a very special nuka. I know, very defensive, very protective, but can just dish out so much damage as well. But yeah, those would be, you know, the three that I'd love to pull today. So wish me luck, boys. And please let me know who you guys are after as well. So just before we start putting shards, I do an account taker as well. Um, so all you need to do to get involved is like, subscribe, drop a comment below, and there's a chance that you can win that account takeover and also shout out. So make sure you stick around uh, to the end of the video to see who this week's winner is. And let's start pulling some shards. So 215. And oh man, we really do need someone big. And we're very start of mercy. Okay, Jingle Hunter, one of the worst epics in the game. If you pull him... I feel bad for you. He's just like food. Just feed him straight away. He's just absolutely awful. Ruella, she's pretty new. Um, I don't know too much about her, to be honest. But yeah, let's see who else we get. Really need some legendaries, though. Okay, Dur is a great champion. I like to compare, um, compare him to Duchess, like a baby version of Duchess. Really good for faction wars. Can also be used in Iron Twins, even on stage 15 as well. Be a really good champion. Tyrell, probably the best one out of this bunch. Old school champion. Uh, drops defense. Nice, nice champion. Rector Draft, great champion. Um, used in Hydra. And, oh, okay, we're already out of space. What I'm going to do is just let's clear out a whole bunch of face and then we'll go. We'll, let's, let's go again. And we're back. So we've got 165 to go. And hopefully we get something juicy. Oh, okay. Old man hermit. He's not bad. Um, definitely usable for faction wars. He's a reviver. So he's good for that. But outside of that, doesn't get much more. Doesn't get much love. Ashmar, she's new. Um, let's check out her. I've not seen her before. So, okay, so she's she's an attack-based champion, attacks one enemy, has a 75 potential to decross the duration of all buffs. Okay. And then increases all the debuffs on the target as well. Okay. Not, like, amazing, not too interesting. Attacks one enemies and throws out weaken. Her poison. Okay. Doesn't seem particularly strong to me. Not really sure where he'd be using her, to be honest. Uh, and again, we've got some spider. <laughs> I used to use this guy all the time. 
He is really underrated and a hidden gem. Um, throws out AoE, decreased defense, great for dungeons. Um, I used to use him in all dungeons, like in 20s. Probably a bit overshadowed now, but he's still a really solid champion. Would be pleased if I pulled him. And he's actually really good for Spider as well, ironically. Okay, nothing there. All trash. Come on, show me the money. Master Butcher, definitely one of those rares worth holding on to. Um, great for some of the secret rooms, but also can be used for Bommel as well. And Rare Tax. Here we go. Oh. Well, that's a dupe. And um, that's my second Martyr. She's a good champion, um, but I don't really use her. Um, yeah, there's... There's not really, she's sort of like really fallen off in the game. Um, Counter-attack, it's okay for dungeon content and stuff, but the problem about counter-attack is that it really slows down your runs. So basically every time, you know, someone gets hit, they're counter-attacking and they keep going in and then out and in and out, and it just really slows down your runs. Um, Marta, she's okay for clan boss, but Skull Crusher and Valkyrie are both better options. And counter-attack, clan boss teams are kind of dead. Definitely better options. So she's not great, to be honest. Um, and Arena, she's not really getting much love there because of the stone skin meta. So yeah, bit bit disappointed to have a dupe of her. I don't know, in Hydra as well, yeah, she has a Provoke, but then you've got to be careful using Counter Attack because if that gets stolen and spread across the Hydra heads, you, you're going to be in trouble. So yeah, it's it's not good, man. It's not good. So let's see how many more. We've got 95 more shards. Let's just pull. No, let's stay strong. Don't pull. I'm going to save them. I, I, I'm not feeling the luck today, guys. That is really disappointing. But um, let's just empower our faction, see what's going on there. So she is Sacred Order. So at least that's going to empower Sacred Order. So we're going to get a bit more accuracy and resistance. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've really got anyone that's going to benefit from that um, on my squad. Let's just have a quick look at faction. Okay, so Bivald, great champion. A bit more accuracy on him, and that's nice. Um, but yeah, no one outside of that is really going to benefit it. But still, okay, it is what it is. Let's uh, check out who this week's winner is. And this week's winner is PB Player. Um, so he's been playing for a year and a half now. He's 100% free to play. But he's got some really nice champions on his account. He's got a Prince Kaimar. I am so jelly. Um, he's also got Mashal as well, who used to be an absolute beast for Arena. Not so strong now, um, but really good for Clan Boss and also Hydra. Brogni, one of my favorite fusions. You can use him in so much content. Doom Tower, Doom Tower bosses, dungeons, Iron Twins, you name it. You can use him in it. Clan Boss, of course, as well. Um, just an absolute beast. Just, yeah, he's just like the king of content. Helicat and another amazing fusion. Um, you can build unkillable team comps with them. Um, but all, And also usable in Iron Twins for that sneaky triple painkeeper comp as well. Uh, but... Suddenly has just become really strong for live arena as well. Like a really uh, sneaky peak, sneaky peak, sneaky pick that you can use as well. And um, who else has he got in here? Um, he's got a lot of fusion champions, but that's a good thing. Um, like Pythion, the Rat King, Razin. But yeah, he's also got a Rotos as well, who's an absolute beast. Um, also Uko as well, a solid, solid champion. And I'm just going to hide myself a second so we can just see some of the lovely... As the Ovly, the other lovely champions that he's got. Also got Noggar as well. And he's got a second Helicat as well. So he could potentially build like um, a double unkillable team comp for Clan Boss with that. Who else is on his account? Oh, oh no, sorry. I thought he had three Helicats. No, it's the same one. And um, we've also got Seer as well. The queen of uh, clearing of, of speed runs of dungeons. Definitely one of the best champions and still the best champions for clearing waves. 
three Ugos, which is just awesome for Hydra. And he's got a Madame as well. And yeah, Basher as well. Great champion. Really um, underused and underrated. But yeah, great champion. PB has asked me to help him in Tag Arena. So he's currently in Silver 1. And he wants to progress into Silver 4 or even Gold if possible. He does have the champions, but he is lacking the gear. Um, his defense also needs some work. So we are going to uh, keep, um, you know, Arbitar. Michelle, we're going to keep those and Rotos, but we're going to sub out Ultimate Death Knight for Madame. So if you can, you should always try and put a stripper in your defense so you can rip any cheesy teams that have got stone skin or, you know, any teams that bring in loads of buffs, you can just strip that and get work done. It is, you know, it's really strong on your defense. And we are going to go triple speed team as well. So we're going to keep um, Kaimar in the second team. Um, and then we're going to bring in Helicat, Lydia, and then any Nuka. So any Nuka could be like Ronda. She could do a lot for us. But yeah, the Nuka doesn't really matter so much. It's more about the supportive support champions that are around her. Team three, we are going to bring in um, Deacon Armstrong, Valkyrie. And Valkyrie, we're going to build her really fast with lots of accuracy and lots of defense. And put her in a speed and immunity set. So that way she can't be CC'd and she will push back the turn meter of the enemy. And that way you can get out those big fat shields and that counter attack. And then we're going to bring in Skull Crown who pairs up really nicely with Valkyrie. I like to think of it as a reverse blender comp. So basically every time Skull Crown gets touched, he is going to counter attack with that nasty A1 that double hits and does loads of damage. And you can just basically keep proccing. And of course, because we've got that unkillable buff as well, you can at least probably get two turns out of it, and it's very nasty. And then we're going to bring in Pytheon as well. So Pytheon's going to pair up really nicely with Valkyrie and Skull Crown. So his passive will reduce the damage that we receive because we're going to have shield and counterattack. But also we can cleanse as well, which is going to mean that if Skull Crown is CC'd, it's going to be cleansed, but also going to have protect debuffs as well. And we've also got a revive. There's a lot going on there, but that is going to be a really strong. Um, solid third team as well and then I've also given uh, PB an Excel spreadsheet with all the speeds the crit rate the HP the defense the crit damage the resistance and the accuracy that he needs for each champion and that is hopefully going to progress him into silver four but he does have a lot of farming to do he's going to be in dragon and fire knight a lot um, for the next month I reckon it'll take about a month to get all the gear that he needs because you know he's got what is that? 12 champions that all need to be geared. So that's a lot of work and it is going to take time. But hopefully this is going to really help speed him up and progress him in this part of the game. So just a reminder, if you do want to get involved in the competition, like, subscribe, drop a comment below and that will enter you to the competition. I'll get in contact with you if you are the winner within a week's time. And then, um, you know, we look at your account. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself and then we do a shout out. And then I will help you progress wherever you are struggling in the game. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please do leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.